Okay, back again, Sunday. Let me see if I can find Julian. Come on, Julian, where are you? All right, everybody, just wait a minute till I find Julian. Because where's Julian? Here, I'll write today's date. That'll be interesting. Oh, there he is. There he is. There, yeah, seamless. Hey man, how's it going? Good, good. Not bad. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, I'm trying a different size pen today. Yeah, what pen are you using today? Uh, well, just a different sized one. Um, the, it's still the Derwent Line Maker, but instead of the .3, I'll be trying the .2. Those are some pretty thin yeah. pen sizes you're using there. I know. I don't know. I just, I like to have, I don't know. A little thinner is a little better for me for some reason. I always have to switch back and forth. But yeah, usually yeah. I, I stay with the 1.1 millimeter italic that I use. 1.1. Whoa, whoa. That's fat. Yeah. Well, I like the line variation because it is italic. That's so. true. You can kind of go on the side and. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna oh, start and. What? I bought some uh, some new nibs. Yeah, that are great. They oh. feel yeah, they're dip pens, but they feel like uh, my fountain pen. So I'm oh, totally cool. stoked about those. Right All right, what are we starting with? Are we warming up with plugs? I'm just gonna do a plug again, but you know, I'm gonna try to dress them up a little bit or something. All right, let me just close the door. Oh yeah, don't want don't want your parents barging in. On We got some lawnmowers started out there. Oh yeah, yeah. The kids are playing their switches in the other room. And I've told them to be quiet, but we'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> I feel like this arm gets pushed away. Do do so. How was your morning so far? Uh, pretty good, pretty yeah. chill. I thought we heard the crow outside, but it's some other crow oh, another. going nuts. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. The crow that visits us, he's pretty quiet. He never really makes any noise. So he just stares at you through the window. <laughs> and it seems like he shows up every other day. Yeah. So. Uh... Cool. Yeah, because yeah, because it seems consistently every other day that he shows up. Well, maybe he's up. got like another house that he has on his schedule. Maybe, although I th I think I don't know. Maybe he gave him too many peanuts last time, and he was just like, "Oh, I can't do this every day." I'm so, I am so <laughs> sick of these. They gotta vary it up. Let's see, I don't know what I'm gonna have Pug do today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Just threw a little jaunty top hat on him. It's like our pugs are looking for each other in a field. Uh, did you? Oh, you are. <laughs> my dog's, yeah, my pug's like, I need a hat like that. <laughs> He's a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, what to chat about? I watched another Twilight Zone last night. Yeah, what'd you watch? It was one I remembered, um, but I hadn't seen in a long time. Man, it's intense. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, called Obsolete Man. Do you remember that one? Mm, I don't know. What was it just? Bur the... Burgess Meredith. It's like a sci-fi futuristic -y kind of Orwellian thing where uh, Burgess Meredith, <laughs> yet again, is a librarian. But this time he's being hauled before the state because librarians are deemed obsolete because they've banned all books. Uh huh. And so he's got to be put to death for being obsolete. But the weird thing in it, of course, is that he's 
he's to be executed in 48 hours, but he gets to choose the manner of execution. It's like that money <laughs> Python. You know, it's quite the Twilight Zone setup because, I mean, who's going to yeah. do that? But anyway, so he sets it up that uh, he's going to be assassinated and he wants to be assassinated in front of a live television audience. And so the the chancellor state control guy is like super stoked about it because he's like, ooh, that's good for ratings and that'll help send the message <laughs> to the rest of the state. Uh -huh. um, so, but, but Burgess Meredith stipulates that no one but his assassin and him are to know how he's going to be executed. <laughs> and the state guy's like, yeah, that's cool. We'll, we'll agree to that. <laughs> so, you know, it's a little contrived, but... Um, I guess what's even further convenient, but it's still, it works awesome because the state control guy is just a total, you know, dictator asshole moron, you know, spouting off all the state run stuff. I don't know. He's just a total dick. And so uh, at the time of, well, getting close to the time of Burgess Meredith's uh, death, he he has inf he's informally invited the chancellor to join him for for a chat and the chancellor agrees because he thinks it's going to be good tv to be there just before the guy dies but we all know where this is going and uh, <laughs> and so yeah you know, they have they have a big chat of you know philosophical differences and uh and then the chancellor guy goes to leave because oh yeah burgess meredith has uh set it up that he's going to die in his apartment surrounded by books and so the chancellor's like yeah well good luck you know and whatever and just he goes to leave and of course the door's locked he's locked inside with burgess meredith and then burgess meredith is like well the way i've chosen to die is that i'm going to uh there's a bomb in this room that's going to go off at exactly such and such time <laughs> and so it's just the whole thing of the state guy just losing his shit and breaking down and you know pretty much mm -hmm. crying in front of the camera. He, he does ultimately escape the room, sorry to give it away for people, but he's completely ruined and the whole state system is totally deemed bogus and everybody sort of sees through it. So, I don't know, it was, cool. <laughs> it was totally dumb, but also really cool. Wait, was Burgess Meredith the guy that was the guy reading the books in that yeah. other episode? Oh, okay, I didn't realize that was him. Yeah, he's the. That sounds pretty good. That reminds me of that Robert Sheckley short story where the uh, what, was it, what was that one called? Um, but the, essentially, what the Running Man was kind of well, not the Running Man was based off of it, but it's similar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great story. Yeah, I forget what that one was called. I forgot the Man, name. Man, I was I was gonna draw this draw this 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 pug stretching like with his back. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like he's yelling out. Yeah, but it looks like yeah, not it looks weird because the other dog is essentially looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I didn't mean for the two to <laughs> to be put together there. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good episode, man. I really got to watch a lot of those because yeah, yeah, when you were describing fun. them, I it, thought I had seen a lot more. It was really fun too because of the set design because the opening bit is in this big dramatic room, and uh, you know because it's a TV production. Even though I'm sure Twilight Zone had decent production values at that point, they still had to be pretty economical and clever with what they did and so they just made it a, a massive room that's just empty except for these crazy tall doors that they come through and it's really effective it was really kind of cool the way Burgess Meredith is sort of pushed through these doors into this room and the just stark lighting and yeah it was nice and dramatic in a really minimalist <laughs> minimalist way but it was pretty cool especially in this era right now because the whole premise of it is how, you know, truth is the enemy of a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Like, yep, that's pretty much fit in our days right now. Yeah, I didn't watch anything yesterday. I've just been streaming those old TV shows. Um, well, I work. I was just working so much yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did try to watch a uh, little bit of Captain's Courageous, which I'd never seen. Uh, yeah. But I, I only got like 10 minutes into it. I want to go back to it. Captain's Courageous. What is that? It's a 1930s movie. Action adventure, I guess. Huh. 
kind of, I'm assuming it's like a swashbuckler. I really have no idea anything. I've heard Emanuela mention it a few times. Yeah. But I really don't know too much about it. <clears throat> but the opening title credits are like the side of a boat, of a ship. Uh-huh. And the, the, the titles are like, uh, you know, physical 3D titles that are actually marked onto it. Oh, wow. Cool. And uh, there's a big wave that crashes up against it. And then when it fade, when the wave comes down, like, you know, they change the credits. It oh, looks pretty neat. nice. It's a nice little setup. It kind of gets you pumped for whatever's coming. Yeah, that's pretty. That sounds awesome. But, yeah, I only watched, like, a good 15 minutes of it. I've got to get back to it. I was too exhausted last night. Those yeah. fixes I was doing was, took a little longer than I thought. It always does. Always does. I don't know what I'm drawing. I don't start drawing a dude with a helmet. Yeah, you you switched from pugs? Yeah, well, I drew a pug on a guy's lap, sort of. And then, I don't know. I'm kind of... <laughs> I think I default to either pugs or... <clears throat> Yeah, so I tried. <laughs> oh, your pug's looking pain today. <laughs> yeah. My back is kind of tweaked from oh yeah from, from sketching yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, I saw you did the life drawing there. That was cool. Yeah, that was a good way to end everything from just being nice and loose and not you know just having fun. Yeah. Trying to replicate your pug pose is pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun, man. I mean, I don't <laughs> like seeing a. I don't like seeing yours. A pug definitely here. feels like in a horror movie. Yeah, it's. I was thinking, it was <laughs> like it was a uh, poster. <laughs> or is it? Uh, was it Mabel? Is that the cat that? Oh, Maybelline. <laughs> mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the horror, man. The horror. <laughs> Gigi wants more pug horror movies. Pug I G G. <laughs> pug horror movies. That's a pretty. I don't know. That's a very conflicting feeling to see such a comforting animal in a horror. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Could be money in the bank. I don't know. I'd certainly be on board to draw it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm using. Uh... I always call them Lammies. I think it's, it's a Lamy pen. I think that's how it's actually pronounced. Okay. So somebody's asking what I'm, I'm using. It's an italic uh, calligraphy pen, 1.1 millimeter, with diatramentous ink. You're getting good at this. You're able to actually read the stream as we're doing it. I, I can't yeah. even. Well, I have it on my iPad, so oh, I look up at it occasionally. That's smart. See, I can't use my iPad because my kids are playing Terraria on it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is their their birthday like. Uh, video yes, weekend, this is huh? this is the birthday blowout weekend where there's just unlimited electronics, and man, they are making the most of that. Let's see, Carson's loving Animal Crossing. Man, he loves it. Are you still there? I can't hear you. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yep. <clears throat> Sorry, I went. You just got real quiet. Yeah, I was making the expression my pug was about that I was about to draw. <laughs> yeah, I could see how that would get you quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should just be yelling or oh, grunting or something. <laughs> uh, I had to stop drawing while, like uh, during uh conference calls, Zoom calls with, uh, with work, like when we do a check-in every week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll just keep working while we're having those meetings so I can listen in and, you know, the videos on me and stuff. Yeah. And apparently, TJ kept commenting on my faces. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm drawing the expression I'm making. So, yeah, I got like, too self-conscious about that and had to stop. Yeah, it's kind of involuntary when you get into it, right? You just can't help it. I 
Oh, we got a nice moment of silence. There. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I got focused here as well because there's an idea. I kind of half sketched it the other day, and I keep coming back to the idea of it. I kind of figure I'm going to work it into a grickle doodle at some point, but I'm like, I got to keep playing with it to figure out how to even draw it. I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. <laughs> But drawing the, the pug screaming made me remember that I was trying to work this thing out. It's kind of a, you know, a little bit of a nightmarish uh, image, I guess. Or not. Maybe it's comforting for some people. <laughs> Now, there's been a guy that's been cracking me up. He's been walking his dog. My yeah. mom saw him a few times. And she was like, there's this guy that walks around with, like, he, she thinks it's a, it's like an admiral, a Star Wars admiral, like a, a, uh, oh, from the Empire side. The, geez, I can't think today, this morning. Uh, an Imperial admiral costume with the cape oh, okay. and everything. Whoa. And he walks his dog with it. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. It's just cracking me up. But he's got like lightsabers. What we assume are lightsabers kind of strapped to his belt and everything. Dang. It's pretty cool. That's committed, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this works. That's an idea. Still powering through it? Yeah. It's all right. It's good. It's good research. I don't know if this. Uh, yeah, this is weird. I don't know. Okay. I'll just finish this one off. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. That's really like, rad. <laughs> I, I like this idea of these like snake things coming out of like people's heads like they'd been hibernating in there and and like flip, That's pretty awesome. flipping the face up, but I, I don't know what the point of it is. <laughs> but I'm realizing as I've drawn this version of it, it's like I made the snakes too big. They're, they got to be small. They got to be some sense of they'd actually fit in your head. I like them that size though. Yeah, it's like well, the whole reptilian thing. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess it is kind of a weird riff on that, isn't it? Which I never actually saw V. Did you see that? I saw pieces of it as a kid or a teenager, I guess. Um, but I didn't really watch it. I think because it was such, from my memory of it, it was, it was such, and it's weird to say it now, but like super cheap production values. So it was like kind of just too hokey to watch, you know? But that probably makes it awesome now. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, like, the baby reveal was the big deal. There's, like, mm -hmm. a point where a seemingly normal baby is actually an alien baby or something. And it has, like, a big snake tongue and eyes or something. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> I saw an awesome meme the other day of, like, you know, because, you know, with all the restrictions starting to lift in states and countries and stuff and people tentatively going back to like somewhat normal things. Um, <laughs> it was just a picture from Alien um, when all the, you know, the crew is gathered around to eat their breakfast or whatever, just, just before John Hurt like explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the meme says, I can't remember exactly, but it says something like, <laughs> Something like the first breakfast back at a restaurant, you know, because <laughs> everybody in the photo looks really relaxed, you know, like smiling and laughing and it's really friendly. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And then, of course, we all know what's coming next. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty perfect, man. Was John Hurt, was he in Spaceballs at the end when they do the parody thing? 
Did yeah, he play that I think he was. He is, yeah. right? Okay. I think so. I didn't we know if that was that. actually him or not. We watched that not too long ago. And I'm pretty sure he was. The, yeah, I think it is him. <laughs> All right. I think I'm pretty warmed up with my pugs. So. Oh, man, you're still nailing the pugs down. That's nice. I don't know if people are getting tired of seeing these damn dogs. I don't think anybody could get tired of pugs, really, right? I would hope not. I know I can't. <clears throat> All right, I'll keep going with Pugs until you Yeah, yeah, well, I was just thinking, I mean, see. Gigi's suggestion of Pug horror movies is pretty good. That might get us riffing on some stuff, all right? Yep. Um, I made that without thinking of where I would go with it. I mean, I know. <laughs> you get uh, uh, Pug Vampires, Pug no. Frankenstein, go with the classics. Or you... A Pug Werewolf's probably not going to read, really, but... Yeah, well, because I... I was trying to find a copy of that because I did that. I forget what book I got you that year for your birthday, mm -hmm. but I wrapped it in those the Universal Monster Pugs. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. You already went down this. That's right. I still have that wrapping paper in a box somewhere. <laughs> if you ever come across it, send Storage. a picture of it to me because I, yeah. I was wanting to remember what I, exactly I did. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure I definitely hung on to that. Um, I just hmm? don't know its exact whereabouts right now or what, yeah. what country it's in. I feel, yeah, I feel like the the invisible pug, the invisible pug was my favorite to draw. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you get to draw a nice mask. <laughs> oh, That's man. another thing I've been wanting to watch is a lot more Claude, Rain, Rain, Claude Rain's movies. I don't think I've seen very much that he's in, except for Invisible Man. Blanca and the Invisible Man and, mm -hmm. and the Werewolf or the Wolfman. Right. What Claude Rains is which guy in Casablanca? Is he the guy that's friends with Bogart at the end? Or yes. the head of the police, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I already screwed it up. I was gonna draw a vampire pug and I forgot to give him the teeth. Alright, I'll just fake it. <laughs> Let's see vampire pugs. <clears throat> I got fixated on the pose I was planning to do. <laughs> Other than the head, this has nothing to do with the pug's <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, it's cartoon magic. We've been watching here and there, um, a bit of Steven Universe. I've only seen a few episodes. How's it going? It's pretty great. It's so weird. Like, it is truly weird. <laughs> yeah. And, in great ways. Like, I just, like, I don't understand how they even, like, got around to building a whole episode around that idea, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> yeah, it's a really weird show. In a nice sort of freeing way, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really need to watch that because Penn was talking about it for so long and Rebecca Sugar got it going. Yeah, it was, it's pretty, it's pretty, it is distinctive and, you know, it definitely broke some new ground for me at least. I was like impressed with the places it goes. <clears throat> How many episodes are you guys in? Uh, not many. I think like four, five or so. We started watching it a while ago because our neighbor was really into it and they were excited for us to watch it. And we watched a few with the kids and then we just kind of moved on to something else. And then we had just the other week we were like, wait a minute, we should watch. Actually, I think the kids brought it up. And so we started watching it again. And yeah, it's It's impressive. <laughs> this pug doesn't feel like a real vampire. It's kind of like dressed up <laughs> one. He's trying to impress his friends. Yeah. I like you put the bands on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of what makes it feel costumey, I guess. Not legit.
Oh, nice. He got the coffin going. Mm. Oh, I missed your earlier guy. What, what's he doing? Is he floating? Yeah, he's just zooming along. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that face. That's great. <laughs> yeah, your guy's like showing up at a party. He's like, hey, guys. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. Like a costume <laughs> party. Like, hey, take me out. I'm dressing up. He's pretty proud of that costume. He worked on it a lot. It took a long time to get those bands around his arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to, because uh, Avatar... Mm -hmm. dropped on Netflix, and I've never watched an episode. I'm just familiar with the M. Night mm -hmm. Shyamalan movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've been meaning to actually sit and watch that. Oh, The Last Airbender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking James Cameron when you said Avatar. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's no lid to this coffin. I'm gonna leave it like a lidless coffin. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, you could, you could have lost, you know, you could have misplaced it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I can't think of any. What other pug costume can these guys be wearing? This guy's kind of like Abe Lincoln style. <laughs> So they are, they're all at a costume party. <laughs> I think that's, that just works the best for me, yeah. An Abe Lincoln pug, that's interesting. <laughs> that was just pure circumstance. Uh, I drew a top hat and then I went from there. I think mostly because I drew a top hat earlier. <laughs> that's the way these creative things go. And I'm going to make a little astronaut pug. He's kind of like not super impressed with Dracula, but he's like, yeah, you put some effort in there. <laughs> Not as much as making your own space suit, but. Oops. I always forget I'm getting off camera here. Oh, I forget. Yeah. Oh, that's an awful pug. That's an awful one. <laughs> Even an awful pug's a good pug. <laughs> Just the way the breed works. I just hear uh, Martin Landau as Bella Lugosi now whenever I draw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Paris. Pull the string. <laughs> Pull the string. As soon as I hear that voice, then I immediately hear Johnny Depp. That's great, Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Lost my pearlies in the war. <laughs> that is my favorite Tim Burton movie. I think. Yeah, it is. You know, as time has gone on. I mean, it's a close... It's a close one between the Pee Wee Herman Big Adventure and that one. Yep. Both those movies true. give me a lot of joy. <laughs> I never, ever get tired of watching either of them. Yeah, I think I, yeah I'm okay with that vampire pug. Oh, look at that. That's great. Oh, he's still floating. Yeah, I like him floating, man. They, they need some momentum. Maybe a, yeah, maybe this is just a yeah, Spake, Spake's commenting on our uh, Johnny Depp impressions. <laughs> glad, glad we impressed him. Yeah, that's good. He's heard that shtick from us before, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on to some zombie pugs. That's easy enough, right? All right, zombie pugs. The fun thing about drawing zombies, you get to just color in some green and blue and weird colors and shit. <laughs> making them look all raggedy it's 
Funny though, I mean, making them walleye is just what they normally are. <laughs> <laughs> There's a request for a pugaduke. <laughs> Ooh, pugaduke. I wonder if I could. All right, we're moving on to that one after zombies. Yeah, do it, do it, or just go for it if you don't want to draw a zombie. I'll see if I zombie pug sounds challenging to me. I don't know. I'm, now I'm thinking that the pug is a weird enough looking dog as it is. The zombifying it doesn't really change a whole lot. It just makes them look <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Sort of feels like a garbage pail kid version of a pug. <laughs> garbage pail. <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> I think this I was gonna have a pug crawling out of his grave, but I think it's just gonna look like him popping out of the ground waving. <laughs> hey <everybody. laughs> Baba Pug's here. Yeah, I can't. I think my, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I'm trying to think of a way to like make him look all. Yeah, I don't know. I keep, yeah, I, I, it's a matter of making him look dirty, I guess. I know, right? I just kind of roughen them up a little bit. Maybe a little spot. I guess with color, I could add little bald spots on them. Yeah, yeah. I just always throw some green or something to make it look like something's been molding or rotting or something. <laughs> Those poses are great, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to capture that, you know, since we've been drawing them yelling today, I, li I like that. I was just trying to think of like a way to, uh, I can't pull it off, I think. I was trying to think of the dude from uh, Return of the Living Dead. Oh, the, mud, the yeah. mud zombie? Could you make a mud zombie pug? But that's, <laughs> I think that's too many things. I don't think I could pull it off. At least I can't conceptually imagine it right now. Additional pug color, and then we're just going to dirty him up. Did you try to do the Baba Duke? No, I was going to try after the zombies. Oh, that's right, after the zombies. Okay. I don't even remember if I they know what the Baba do. I just remember like a fuzzy creature with a top hat. I mean, top big grin, hat, right? Big grin, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I give my pug a foot. That was weird to me. He gave him a foot? Yeah, like too much of a foot up here. Oh. That's what you're saying. Now you're just throwing a little bit of sickly green. <laughs> of course, now it just looks like they came out of a pond. Yeah, they look they're looking all mossy and yeah, that looks good. Yeah, they don't look healthy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's true. They, 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 don't, they don't look healthy, and that's the point. Gotta throw in some purple too, man. I love putting in purple. <laughs> Purple's a very I don't know. Just get 
feel like Bob Ross. I get very happy. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> throw in some purple. It's my happy place. Get some happy purple. Let's get some nice purple on the zombie. It's too yellow. <laughs> that was a Bob Ross there, man. <laughs> I wish I had like a big brush to slap up against the easel. I know. That's, that, that was always really satisfying to watch and listen to. This reading is pink. Peach. I feel like a, just a big flat red background will just project horror. Yeah, yeah. my thinner pen. I can hear those guys playing their video games. It's so funny. Like they totally chat to each other. They're both playing completely different games. Neither one, different rooms. neither one is listening to the other. I'm sure of it. They're just like, and then I did this and oh my gosh. And then I got that. And, <laughs> and I was like, totally not into it but then he'll just respond with what's going on in his thing I should have man yeah Pug's tail would look gross without any hair on it <laughs> Yeah, because there's not much there to begin with. It's just like a little weird, gross pink stub. I don't know. I guess that goes for most animals if they have a, a nude tail. Yeah, it suggests the mange, man. Yeah, I feel like my pug calling out of the ground is asking more for help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> You guys are like thriller pugs. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're just about to break into an awesome group dance routine. Ba doom 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 doom. Ba doom 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 doom. So I tried uh, cleaning up the backer for that uh, pug pen that I'm working on. Uh huh. <laughs> I can't clean stuff up, man. I just set it up. I was like, oh, I can't do this. It's getting too tight. I'm losing any. <laughs> anything fun that any you know energy in it even if it's just a background and then i, I just know. did a quick doodle i was like that feels nice to me i can't tell if it looks sloppy or not <laughs> <laughs> i'll have to set it to you to you can get a confirmation on it totally okay i'm gonna move on to another pug horror thing i just thought of it may work may not and you know i've done this shtick a few times with other characters i've never done it with pugs though my zombie pugs. That's pretty good. How are we doing on time? Uh, 20, uh, 20 minutes? At least, yeah. You know, it's funny. Last time I looked at this thing, it told me when it was counting down, but it must count down once we get down to the last 10 minutes or so. Okay. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. That was cool. You got that uh, timer thing going on. on the yeah. I pre uh, one of the animators from Leica had mentioned that to me. Yeah. So they put a timer on it. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> timer <laughs> just get out of here with that stuff just watch it all right <laughs> let's see okay i'm gonna attempt this baba duke pug really yeah know. do it go for it 
He's got a top hat, right? Definitely top hat. Yeah. I mean, I can't attest to much else that I can remember, but definitely a top hat. And kind of like a cape, right? He's got like a black cape. Yeah. He sort of looks like, you know, he's like Dr. Jekyll or, or Mr. Hyde or whatever. That's right. I think that's kind of the basis of what he looks like. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a huge top hat? <laughs> it's pretty big. Yeah, I think it's pretty big. Hold on. I think I only saw this that once over at your place. Oh, did you watch it with me? I can't remember. Yeah, I think we saw it over there. And that director... She's got a new movie out. It was a female director, right? I think so. I think you're right. He's got a cape. <laughs> yeah, I'm blanking on this. Does he have little arms? Uh, I don't know. I mean, part of the... It's you know, just a black silhouette. Yeah, part of the appeal or how that movie worked so well was the fact that they, they never let you get a great look at him. Then I put too much detail in. Just black it all out, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just like they did in the real movie. Just don't, just the, it's the way you light it. Yeah, they were probably designed as like, oh, I don't know where I'm, just put in black. It'll work. Yeah. As long as they see that smile on the top hat, you're good. Let's put some. <laughs> yeah, I just saw your drawing. Dude. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, yeah, that's good. It's a go to for sure. That's a good one. But it works pretty good with pugs. Again, because of the wall eyed thing. <laughs> That feels perfect. You got to take footage, like actual footage, and just comp that onto it. <laughs> I want to see Danny turn that corner and see those damn things. And I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to play with those two forever? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, Danny would have gladly went along. <laughs> oh, man, you know... I'm I've looked at the hallway a million times in a million images, but I don't remember anything right now. It's just a hallway. Does that hallway have the carpet? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I just remember carpet. everything kind of being like a whitish blue pastel with yellow trim or something. Yeah, there's a yellowness to it for sure, but... Ugh, whatever, I fucked that up, uh, screwed that up. <clears throat> Pardon my language. We're just going to keep that nice and vague. All right, now he's in the dark. I feel like I, I'm convincing myself. All right. Yeah. All, right. All right. This is going to be okay. This will be Not okay. bad. <laughs> you, you, you did your best. You did your best. It's like uh, what? Stuart, <laughs> Stuart Smalley or whatever that character Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't my best drawing, but I did my best. Gosh darn it. I'll draw again. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. 
Getting away from drawing this background is just too painful. All right, there's my Baba Duke. I'm gonna look him up to see. Oh, that's great! Gosh, if it actually totally, looks like that. He's totally got Mr. Hyde vibes for sure. Yep. All right, I need to confirm this to see. Baba Duke. I just remember that kid going nuts in the back. Yeah, of that well, car. that was honestly, <laughs> that was that was the most impressive thing about the film. Was that kid was incredible <laughs> at being a stressed out kid. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, he's got like claw arms, and he's not that fat. Oh well. Well, it's a pug, so he can get away. Yeah, with yeah. Got to throw a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got like a white mask shapes over to define his face a little bit. That makes sense. Hmm. And he's got an open mouth. I just saw somebody write Nosferatu claws. Yeah, they are not like Nosferatu claws, right? Yeah. What was that? Was it Max Shrek? Is that the guy's name? Yeah. It sounds made up to me right now. Ooh, best part is I got the baby blue color here. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> It's a rough. It's a rough one. I might have to redo this at a later point as an actual grickle doodle. I mean, again, I've used this shtick a few times. I did it with the hidden people. <laughs> it's just such a good image, and you know what it is right away because of all the little iconic elements in it. <laughs> so it's an easy read. I don't remember how those girls' dresses really went, though. That's all right. Oh, that was Adam. Hey, Adam, how's it going, man? Muto. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hang on. He's the one who knew about the Nosferatu. Oh, yeah, I didn't see, you know what? The, the, the little streamer thing had moved up high enough that I didn't see the name. I just saw the comment. Sorry, Adam. I should have called that out. All right, I don't know what horror movie I'm going to go on to next. Gosh, yeah, I think Gigi's on to something. This might be the only thing we ever draw in our sessions. <clears throat> All right, I'll leave the Boba Duke pug up for a little bit until I think of something else. Does anybody recommend a horror movie? I got one. What what we <laughs> You should draw. I'm scared. Like, uh, it's kind of like a zombie. It's kind of like zombie. I was gonna say you should draw Henrietta Pug. <laughs> Gross. That'd be nice. Uh, that'd be like a totally naked pug. Yeah, that's true. Well, pugs are naked. Let me see. <laughs> Henrietta, that's. That might be too. That's yeah. That might be too tough. I don't know. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to find figure out what setting i guess in the in the in the root cellar right yeah that's all i mean then when you think of well you think of that and you also think of her floating around that room that's true <laughs> her crazy big gross rotty butt Ugh. Oh, it's so nasty and that's ted Raimi, right yeah that's so funny yeah i don't know it's weird. I want to make him angry, but those those deadites are really enjoying themselves. Yeah, they're they're movie. totally having a blast. Yeah, that's why I love that movie so much. They're not. They're really loving it. They're not angry. They just want to have. <laughs> they're just messing with everybody. <clears throat> I think if you didn't know this was a Shining reference, this would be like a cute little picture of pugs. <laughs> <laughs> You have to do the uh, the B pose where it's the flashback. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just a bunch of bodies and blood. Oh, oh that's that's just so disturbing. Even just to joke about it. 
That's true, though. I could draw it on the next page, and then we can flip it back and forth. Yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, can't, I don't think I can do this to Henrietta Pug, but I'm trying. <clears throat> I don't think. What else? Is there what's what's an Evil Dead bit you could do with plug? I don't know. Another one. I mean, what else is iconic? You got the severed hand. No, was, yeah, the severed hand, the chainsaw arm. Oh, okay. Shotgun, yeah. Or the right. big head coming out right into uh, into the doorway. Ash, Ash the pug. <laughs> and then I totally froze as min the minute I started that trying to figure out how am I gonna draw it. No, it's just looks like a floating pug. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I okay. got, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like that's the, a rough one. The butt's just got to be bigger. It's, it's like a pear shape, right? Yeah. Let me expand this tush a little bit. A little tail on it. I apologize for this, everybody. I hope everyone's drawing along. <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to see your Henrietta box. <laughs> hopefully you're not focused on what we're doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's got a hold of Ash. I'm going to try to do a little Ash plug down there, too. He's already got the chainsaw by this point. I made him look so pleasant. Ash doesn't look pleasant. <laughs> it's like he showed up a little late. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, oh, we're already done here? I don't really remember much of Bruce Campbell's actual outfit. I mean, he's just got torn jeans and a shirt, right? Yeah, and they're like brown pants and a blue shirt. Blue shirt. I remember that, yeah. I can't remember. Is it his right or his left hand? I don't know. See, I was just, you know. I think it's his right. Oh, well. I'm trying to think of him bashing his face now. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Oh, well. You know what? This image was reversed on me or something. That's, uh, that's what happened there. Uh, with his arm going the other way. Oh, well, I'll have it just pointing down. He's about to slash. He's pointing at this. Like, damn you, Henrietta. Now, let's see. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Crowd of pugs that are super excited he came back in time. I, of course, I should have drawn this pug in total anguish, but oh well. He's happy about being there. <laughs> I love that. That pug floating, that's great. That's funny, I don't remember the layout of the cabin. Not much to it, right? I mean... Well, there's a the front, sort of front living room part, and then there's the kitchen in the back and the bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> it's so tough. All right, can I color this one a little bit? Even though... All right, this is going to be a naked pug. Swallow 
your soul. <laughs> you knew eventually we were going to get to the point where we're just drawing Evil Dead all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the only movie I can pretty much reference in any story meeting for anything. Yep. It applies. It's, pretty, to, it's, it's universal. Amazing. Universal applies to all things. Nope, we're almost out of time here. Oh, yeah? How come I don't have a thing? No, it's, I'm just looking at my watch. It says 11.56, so... Oh, wow. Okay. It's a red chainsaw, right? Yeah. But we're definitely wrong pants colors. All right. All right, there's my Ash Williams pug. Nice, we both just drew Ash. <laughs> Your guy's way more stressed than my guy is right now, that's for sure. So if we cut out, do you want to hop on real quick and then uh, yeah. hop back on and then do a recap? Yep. And if it cuts off mid-drawing, we can, you know, finish up our drawings or whatever and then, and then do the recap. It's weird. I wonder why last time I gave a countdown and this time it didn't. Yeah, because when I was drawing with Kim, it didn't give her a recap or a countdown at all. Huh. And it was on the same day. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's just something I touched last time that brought up a counter. Yeah. Probably. It's pretty handy, though. It is very handy to know how much time you got left. <laughs> That's great, man. That's a, those pugs are, are stoked. <laughs> They're so happy he showed up. And he's actually happy to be there. Oh, there we go. I got a little timer saying I got two minutes left. It comes on at two minutes. All right. Get oh, my God. Go, go. Draw the Oh, I like that. I like the shading you're doing. That's cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot it's black. <laughs> this is good. This is a good one to end, though. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Oh, we didn't do any exquisite corpse today. Sorry, everybody. I totally slipped my mind. Oh, uh, yeah, I blanked on that. But that's okay. We'll do those again. We've got 30 seconds, Julian. Okay. We'll pop back on and do a recap and yep. say adios. Oh, let me just color in this rocks. <laughs> Surely I could do that in 30 seconds. 15 I seconds. think you can do it. 15 seconds, yeah. Oh, my God. The pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one, and we're done.